on this slide we talk about certain definitions. So our first definition is divisor of zeros of f. So you first fix x a smooth variety over k where f is the element of kx star that is you first form ox then you form field of fractions then you drop zero out of it. So the divisor of zeros of f is a formal sum. So divisor of zeros of f is a formal sum. So the sum looks like this. So divisor of f, you basically take all the co-dimension one sub-varieties of x. So there could be many co-dimension one sub-varieties. On each of these sub-varieties, you first find order of f, which will be an integer, and then you multiply by the corresponding placeholder d. d is just a placeholder, nothing special about it. So it will look something like this, n i d i. So again, d i, you cannot add different sub-varieties. So they're just like, brackets lying there. This will be more clear in an example. Say you're working in KP1 and you want to find divisor of this function. You have x plus 2, x minus 7 divided by x minus 3, 4. First, we need to notice that the degree of numerator has to be equal to the degree of denominator. But degree of denominator is 4, so we need to add infinity to numerator. So now we have degree of numerator is 4, degree of denominator is 4. And we first find order at 2, then order at 7 is again 1, order at 3 is minus 4, and order at infinity is 2. And that is what we get. Now just a small remark. So again, x is a smooth variety over k. f is element of kx star. And u is an open subset of x. So we have divisor of f. If you restrict it to u, this is greater or equal to 0 if and only if f belongs to O of u. Now this comes from the properties of the order which we described on the previous slide. So divisor of f greater or equal to 0 means that all these integers n i in the finite sum are greater or equal to 0. So all the integers in the finite sum are greater or equal to 0. And notice for di we are just having the square, square brackets. You cannot add 2 in the square bracket with 7 in the square bracket or with 3 or infinity. So now another definition, again x is a smooth algebraic variety over k, where k is closed. Uh, so an irreducible divisor on x is a closed co-dimension 1 sub-variety. So a irreducible divisor on x is a closed co-dimension 1 sub-variety. And a divisor on x is an element of the free abelian group on set of irreducible divisors. Now this should, if you have read homology, this should immediately remind you of how we generate homology groups in dimension 0 with respect to points, in dimension 1 with respect to edges, and in dimension 2 with respect to two cells, and so on. So the same principle which we use to generate uh, groups, homology groups, for 0 cells, 1 cells, 2 cells, same kind of principle we use here. So here, this is a finite sum. 
we have talked about this before n i is an integer and d is the co-dimension 1 sub variety now we want to give definition of linear equivalence so first you fix two divisors d1 and d2 notice that d1 and d2 are finite sums they are not particular co-dimension 1 sub varieties they are just like a collection they are finite sums yeah on a sum smooth variety x so both d1 and d2 are finite sums so d1 would con consist of bunch of co-dimension 1 sub varieties and integers attached to it and similarly with d2 so we can subtract one from another now if you subtract them and they, they are equal to some divisor of f where f is element of kx star then you call d1 and d2 as linearly equivalent so we have this big group on x of divisors yeah so divisors are nothing but these integers attached to co-dimension 1 sub varieties now you can take any number of integers and attach to these co-dimension 1 sub varieties as you feel like you keep on getting divisors now we want to define some equivalence relation on divisors which we did by linear equivalence now we want to modulo out this linear equivalence so if you modulo out this linear equivalence from the divisors what you get is a divisor class group. So the divisor class group of a smooth variety X is the abelian group of divisors modulo linear equivalence. So the class of X is nothing but co-kernel of the map. You go from KX star to apply divisors to divisors on X. And divisors on X I have already explained to you is you just take co-dimension 1 varieties and keep on attaching integers to it. Now we will discuss an example soon when x is equal to p1 and uh, see what the class of p1 is. So just a small remark, divisor of f times g is divisor of f plus divisor of g. This comes from the order properties.